speaker is doing speech number three from the Confident Communicator Manual, and it's called the I, uh, purpose of the project is get get to the point. So the objectives of this speech are to select a speech topic topic and determine its general and specific purpose. Organize the speech in a manner that best achieves that purpose. Ensure the beginning, body, and conclusion reinforce those purposes. Uh, project sincerity and connection and control uh, any nervousness you may feel. Strive not to use notes. I, I sometimes wish when I, I, when I read my own notes that I should have been a doctor because I got <laughs> writing like it. But the time of this speech is five to seven minutes. So there'll be the, the green at five, the amber at six, and the red at seven. Our speaker, he did his high school in Hungary. He then split his post-secondary between Budapest and Waterloo in Ontario. And he learns best by doing. The title of his speech is Lessons in Life. Please welcome Zoltan. One doesn't make um, the point of the composition, doesn't make the end of the composition the point of the composition. If that was so, we would have conductors. The best conductors would be those who work the fastest. We would have composers who were on the finale. And we would go to a concert just to hear one crash and course. Mr. Chair, um, fellow Ghostmasters, most welcome guests, I'd like to give you some. Um, simple lessons I've learned throughout my life and hopefully make a point at the end that has been much on my mind recently. <coughs> Implicit in there might be a bit of a resume which I've never did. So um, here we go. I grew up in, uh, in Hungary, which was Eastern Europe at the time. It's actually more Central Europe, geographically speaking, but it belonged to the Soviet bloc. It was a communist country. I went through high school there. At high school, I think I learned a lot of physics, math, biology, chemistry. I was really interested in all these things. The big lesson in life I've learned in high school that all of my life was going to be great. Um, decided to go to university, but in between there, I had to spend a year in the army. This was a conscription army. This wasn't my choice. Um, in the army, I've learned about the nature of governance. They don't necessarily have a lot of flexibility for the individuality of the citizen. They don't really consider whether you are or you are not suitable to be a soldier. I personally hated every minute of it, and I learned something about myself that I don't identify easily with uh, concepts of destruction and, um, and conflict. I don't have an easy time standing in, in that uh, identification. Although I have to admit it would be a very useful skill at times. I also, took, I also learned that uh, higher ranking officers are always right. No exceptions. Um, after uh, the army, I went to university in Budapest, Hungary. Um, this was three years of mechanical engineering. Um, most of what I've learned there, I think the most valuable lessons were in independence and problem solving. Again, very good lessons. In uh, 1985, I decided to to leave the country and uh, immigrate to Canada. Uh, that was driven by uh, a quest for adventure. The quest for adventure is a blessing to have. It takes you into unknown territories, and you, you make all sorts of discoveries in your life, as opposed to just standing in line and um, following the usual route. I learned throughout this uh, about the dangers of conformity also. Um, in Canada, I started to learn uh, a new language. The next shocking lesson was that it's not only important to know something and to know that you know something, it's very important to be able to present it. So I decided to take my English seriously, and the best way uh, there was to go back to university again, so I went to the University of Waterloo. 